so if you've been doing jiu-jitsu for you know more than about a month, you've probably learned this one, right? Where we get the hands on the mat or they're off to the side, whatever. We come up, boom. Do our Kimura sweep, our bump sweep, right? It's a good sweep. Now, what you can start to do with that, because that thing stops, it, it still works, like it always works, right? But there's a point where people start to see it coming. And so you can start using this as an off-balancing technique. So again, think about it this way. A lot of times if we're inside the guard here, we're trying to set up like arm bars and stuff. Once everybody kind of knows what's going on, as soon as he kind of understands what's going on in the guard, he's gonna immediately start fighting the hand positioning, right? So instead of trying to set up the move like that, a lot of times you can look for other ways to get people off balance and then set up your attacks. So a really good way to use this bump sweep, this key more sweep, is we can open up. If he's right here, you can do it. If his hands are on the mat, we can do it, but either way, we're gonna open up and we wanna get up to our hand as quickly as possible, okay? Now, there's a little slight tilt in my hip, watch this. When I sit up, I'm not trying to do a, a crunch. My hip tilts, like I'm on the side of my butt cheek. This way I can easily get up, right? So the way that I, I tell my kids, my, my young students' kids, I uh, tell them it's like sitting up on like Saturday morning, watching TV, right? So we don't wanna like, uh, sit up like this, we want to lean up bang, bang. and then this way we have that drive and it's much more efficient. So getting back to it, what we're going to do is, he might be right here on the hand, this is pretty common, right? We're going to open hip out just a little bit up to the hand and drive. Now at this point, when we drive into him, we can get a lot of different responses. I'm going to go over a couple for you today. One of them that happens is that you'll start to get people that will literally just begin to push back into you. As they push, we can start to set up your traditional arm bar, right? Because they're pushing back into you. So as you fall back, that arm's gonna fall right into place. Another really good one is we can set up, you know, for the sort of an underhook under the leg, you look for pendulums type sweeps. So we come up, he starts to push. This leg is right here. I'm gonna dive under the leg. And at the same time, I would be grabbing this leg here and I can open up and go for my pendulum style sweep. One last one I'll throw at you is going for a triangle. So again, we go for the bum sweep, and again, right here is fine or whatever. We go for it, right here, and then if we get going far enough and I get his hand to post, boom. We can lock back and begin to set up our triangle stroke. So again, that's a neat position. Again, it's a great sweep, and sometimes the sweep itself works if you're really quick with it. But if you knock them off balance, and you really go for that sweep, you knock them off balance, they're gonna have to respond, and that response can then set up other stuff. So I'm gonna go through all three of them again, one more time, uh, fairly quickly, and again, you can try these out. Bump sweep to armbar, he begins to push back into me. As he pushes, we grab the back of the tricep. As we're going down, we swivel, open up, armbar. Second one here, we go up. As we're driving back down, I take this hand, shoot under here, grab this one, and I can open up for the pendulum. And the last one here, if we get going far enough, we really knock him off balance, his hand posts, leg in front, bang. And we can start to shoot in for that triangle choke. And I'm literally just going over like three moves. There are a lot from that position. You could use it to set up the Kimura again, and we'll plot us all kinds of stuff. But use the principle behind it, um, which is basically instead of going right after the attack, right after the submission or whatever it might be, go to knock them off balance first and get them moving to where they have to respond to you. And this gets them out of their nice tucked in position. So if you get one of these dudes that like, just sort of like hunker in, like right here, like one of these guys in guards and you're like trying to push his arms in and stuff and you can't get really much going, then this is a great opportunity to do this thing because he's not really giving me any worries right now because he's not doing much, but at the same time, it's hard to move anything. But if I go here, now things are gonna start to move and I can start to make an option happen. So, if you go up against someone who's really tight on top of mount or top of guard and they're just like this, this could be an option for you. So. Guys, I hope this is useful to you. And again, I know that not everybody's back to their gyms like normal, but I know like it's about like half and half in the country. If you are back to training and you have a question, you can drop that sucker down below in the comments or you can shoot me an email on my website at jujitsu.net and uh, you can check that out. But otherwise, hope this was helpful to you guys. Adam. Adam. <laughs>